Hey guys, today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to use your electronic drum kit with Guitar Hero World Tour on Windows PC. The benefit of this tutorial is that it does not require the Xbox 360 drum brain and it makes use of only free software. This will work on any versions of the game, but for this video I'll be using the Definitive Edition as the test game. This is a very good quality of life mod, so be sure to check it out in the link below on the video description. Before we get started, make sure your eDrum kit is already connected to your PC through a USB connection. Next, you'll want to download the software. I'll put the links in the video description below. MIDI Drum Hero and VJoy are needed to set up your eDrum kit as a joystick. Xbox 360 controller emulator is required if you want to play on a 5-lane setup, while Anti-Micro is required for a 4-lane setup. Also, for 5-lane setups, you'll need another USB gamepad for navigating the in-game menus. First step is to install MIDI Drum Hero and VJoy. Make sure you install the correct version of VJoy depending on which Windows version you are currently on. There's different installers on Windows 10 and other Windows versions. Next, open MIDI Drum Hero and you will be on this dashboard. Under MIDI Device, make sure you select your eDrum kit. In my case, it's the DTX drums. Next, click on Monitor and hit the pads on your drum kit. You will see MIDI notes being printed out on the MIDI monitor. Take note which MIDI note corresponds to which pad or pedal or your drum kit, as your drum kit may have different MIDI note inputs from my example here. Then go back to the dashboard and you can now assign your pads to virtual joypad buttons. MIDI number is the MIDI note of your pad, Trigger velocity is the threshold of when your pad will trigger. I personally set it to 30, but feel free to adjust depending on how sensitive you want the pads to be. Lastly, the button number is the virtual gamepad button you want to assign the drum pad to. Make sure each pad is assigned its own number. Once done, you can minimize MIDI Drum Hero or leave it open. Now I'll move on to the setup for 4 lane drums. For this step, we'll be using Anti-Micro. You'll find VJoy device under one of the tabs, click on it. Then assign the buttons to the default keyboard keys for playing drums on Guitar Hero World Tour. Here's the layout if you need a reference. After that, you are done. Open your Guitar Hero World Tour program. If you are using Definitive Edition, make sure you disable Input Hack. Navigate the menus using your keyboard and play using your eDrum kit. Lastly, I'll explain the setup for 5 lane drums. You'll need Xbox 360 controller emulator or X360CE. Also, remember the USB gamepad that I mentioned was required? Make sure you plug that into your PC as well. Once you're done with the initial setup on MIDI Drum Hero, drag the X360CE executable to the same directory as your install directory for Guitar Hero World Tour and open the program. When you first open the program, you'll be prompted to create a file called xinput one underscore three dot dll. Press the Create button. Next, for each of the controllers detected on your PC, click on Search Automatically for Settings and search the internet. And then click Next and Finish. Next, click on the controller tab that your drum kit's VJoy controller is assigned to and bind the buttons to emulate the Guitar Hero drums. Here's an image for reference. Once done, click on the Advanced tab. Change the device subtype to Drum Kit. Then under Combining, tick the box labeled Combine This Controller and set it to 1. 
repeat the same process for your USB gamepad as well. On the last step, click on the Options tab. Under Testing and Logging, tick the box labeled Enable Combining. After that, make sure you click Save on the bottom right and close the program. You are done. Open your Guitar Hero World Tour program. If you are using Definitive Edition, make sure you disable Input Hack. Navigate the menus using your USB gamepad and play using your eDrum kit. And that's it! If you have any questions or issues regarding your eDrum kit setup, feel free to leave a comment below or find me in the GHWT Definitive Edition Discord group, which I'll leave a link in the video description. Thank you for watching this video. Until then, take care.